Deep divers, have you ever had an anxiety attack on a train and everyone's watching you because you're like, <gasps> they're like, have you won the lottery? <gasps> or have you just seen a ghost? And you're like, neither. I'm having another anxiety attack. <gasps> Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Another beautiful day. I'm sending you tons of anxiety-free energy right now, deep divers. Take that, take that, take that. We're just, woo, breathing in that good-ass prana, baby. How to let go of fear anxiety and the unknown what a powerful question someone asked me in the comment section so that's what we are going to dive into do you have anxiety right now with fear you're also afraid of the unknown too well i know what that's like growing up i had so much anxiety but along the way i found out ways to deal with my anxiety and my fear, fear of the unknown. No, I'm not afraid of the cat down the road, but fear of strange people, right? But right now, deep divers, I am anxiety free. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> so wonderful deep divers, let me share with you how I let go of fear anxiety and the unknown i know what it's like deep divers when you are having an anxiety attack or a panic attack and you're full of fear fear of the unknown fear of what's going to happen tomorrow what's going to happen next week next year you're looking a bit shaky baby yes ralph it is so overwhelming right now alas deep divers chill out let me share with you what i do because this is what I do, right? I learned that my anxiety was because I wanted to really appear good in the eyes of other people. I was trying so hard to fit in and not to stand out that that's why I was having a lot of anxiety. And that's why a lot of us are afraid. We are afraid of what other people think. We care too much. Until I realized this, deep divers. The moment I faced myself before I faced other people, I no longer had anxiety. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. In ancient Egypt, in the temples, the priests said, know thyself and you will come to know the secrets of the universe. A lot of us who have anxiety, fear, fear of the unknown, what happens? We don't know ourselves. We're not spending enough time with ourselves because we are too busy worrying about what other people think of us. So that was me along my early journey until I learned that meditation really helps us let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown. Spend 10 minutes with yourself every single day or longer, whatever time works for you. Just spend some time with yourself, but really sit with your emotions, really get to know who you are. Forget about what other people think of you. And that's how to let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown. I've realized this deep divers, all anxiety emanates from the desire to escape the present moment. So if our anxiety and our fear is because we're always trying to get somewhere, the getting somewhere is not the problem. The problem is how we feel when we are 
traveling there. So every single day, I press pause. I say, Ralph, be still. And if I can find just even 60 seconds of calm every single day, which is kind of easy to do right now, right? All of a sudden, I'm letting go of fear, which is false evidence appearing real. I'm letting go of anxiety and I'm letting go of the unknown. A fear of the unknown. Make your present better than your future. <laughs> That's how to let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown. Live a life so brilliant right now that you don't care what's going to happen in five years because right now you are at peace with yourself. How to let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown. You see, deep divers, every single day, you have a choice. Are you gonna let anxiety steal your happiness? Are you gonna let fear steal your happiness? Are you gonna let the unknown steal your happiness? Or are you gonna say, no, no anxiety, no fear, no unknown. I'm choosing right now to take responsibility for what I'm feeling, that I have the power to create my reality. A lot of us, every single day, we wake up in a rush. Oh, let me check my phone. Who is, who's messaged me? What's happening on Snapchat? Oh, yeah, distractions. And I've realized that no phone, all I need is ecotherapy. I've got to spend more time in nature. You see, I let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown when I started to focus on what I could change instead of focusing on what I can't control. Because, spoiler alert, deep divers, relax. Nothing is under control. So I started to realize I can change a lot. What can I change right now? I can actually change my breathing pattern. I can really, woo, breathe in that good ass prana, baby, deep from the base of my spine. All of a sudden, I feel, I feel calmer right now. No more fear, no more anxiety. So we can change our breathing pattern, the way we breathe. A lot of us, we're shallow breathing right from the top of our chest. We need to be breathing deep from the base of our spine, that good ass prana, baby. I can change my perspective. I can change how I see it, okay? There are things that we can't control. We can't sometimes control what happens to us, but we can always control how we respond. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. How to let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown. So I've realized this, that if we can see the triad, the trinity, how it works, physical, mental, emotional, the physical affects the mental, the mental affects the emotional. So take care of the physical, okay? See what you're doing with your body. Body language is key to knowing how we are feeling on the inside. And that's how to let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown. It lives within our body, okay? Anxiety, fear, these aren't abstract terms. These are actually physical realities inside of our body. So we have to start adopting poses which are more calming for ourselves like this this smiling producing that oxytocin instead of this <laughs> i'm scared right now ralph okay because that now affects your mental which affects your emotional fear exists inside of you inside of your cells, so does anxiety. So once we start to really move our body in a more relaxing way, start to walk every single day, exercise, go for a jog, we are now reducing those cortisol levels, the stress hormone, okay? How to let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown. A lot of us, we're always in a rush to eat. And that was me. 
Sometimes that still is me. Never mind. Well, I've learned that I've got to start masticating. Not masturbating, no. Masticating, which is the art of chewing your food so it can actually digest. Seven day vegan challenge. Make sure you are chewing those dates and those Brazil nuts full of vitamin E, okay? The more I chew my food, it's like I'm having a conversation with my food. And all of a sudden, anxiety starts to disappear. A lot of our anxiety also is because we are deficient in magnesium. What has a lot of magnesium? Leafy greens, kale, you guessed it. How to let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown. Create a life, deep divers, you aren't constantly trying to run away from. Like, I love my life right now. I'm not trying to go anywhere. I can live in nature. Nature, adopt me, right? <laughs> I love my life so much. When I pass away, I wanna come back as me. And guess what? I'm immortal. I'm never ever gonna pass away. Deep divers. <laughs> Start loving the life you are living. Stop working in a job which is stealing your happiness. Stop living a mediocre life. That's how to let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown. Start loving your life 100%. I've seen this. I've seen this, deep divers. Every single day, if we can learn just to get through the day, like just take care. No, forget about Tuesday, next week, Tuesday, next week, Friday. No, no. Just take care of today and tomorrow will take care of itself. That's all you got to do. Get through today. That's how to let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown. Your fear and anxiety, as it relates to the unknown, comes because you're trying to control what's going to happen in the future. Spoiler alert, it hasn't even happened yet. So just focus, not even on today, just on this second, and that second, and this second, and that second. Yeah, exactly. And then all of a sudden, tomorrow, will take care of itself. Deep divers, we aren't going anywhere. That's how to let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown. Start being comfortable where you are. Not in reaching a destination, but where you are. A lot of us have anxiety and fear because we're trying to fit in. I chose to accept my uniqueness. Key word, accept. If you can learn how to accept yourself, stop comparing your body ladies to her body and her booty to your booty. No, 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 no. Ain't nobody got time for that. Your booty is so beautiful. 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 No pun intended, right? <laughs> right? Love your body for you. Love your skin for you. Even your flaws love them too. That's how to let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown. Love yourself. Fear comes from a lack of self-love. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. I've seen this deep divers. A lot of us, we're afraid of other people. They give us anxiety. The unknown again, right? Because we are assuming who they are. Assumptions make bad conclusions. So I've learned that to let go of fear, anxiety, and the unknown, never assume. Always ask. Like, ask the cat down the road, how are you feeling? Instead of just assuming it's not doing good or it's doing great. Ask! <laughs> Stop suppressing either. Stop suppressing as well, deep divers, because depression is suppression. Suppression gives rise to anxiety, fear, and worry. So the moment I started to express myself, really share how I'm feeling, what I'm going through, let it all out, all of a sudden, my anxiety started to disappear. So did the fear of the unknown. Talk to people. Don't live your life in a box. Get out there. Socialize. And realize you are good enough to be here. Just like the cat down the road is. And once you start to see your self-worth, once you start to validate your own existence, you've now let go of anxiety, fear, and the unknown, and then deep divers, well, you just say, feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Beautiful deep divers were just, woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. 
beautiful day out here. Deep Diver, shout out to you. Shout out to everybody who's been rocking the amazing Good Ass Prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes. Check out the new amazing book on Amazon, Feel Alive by Ralph Smart. Get more daily inspiration on Instagram at Infinite Waters. Deep Divers, you are appreciated. Peace. Infinite Waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You. Be still, my friend. <laughs>